Hello everyone, we are about to tour a brand new model right here at Holmes by Vanderbilt. Let's get into it. All right, so yes, you guys, this is Holmes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina. I absolutely love this place, y'all. I've been here before. Look at some of these. I mean, they're just, this place is just filled with like huge modular homes. And I say huge, okay, let's back, let's back up a little bit. Sorry about that. This house, for instance, is not just crazy big, but this is a model wasn't here the last time that i was here so i'm gonna be touring it for you you can tell it's got a lot of new features and stuff in it uh, let's walk around check out some things but yeah they do have some massive homes they do have some crazy ones but then they also have some smaller ones as well as well but these are all modular homes that are taken set on a foundation built to state code uh just really sweet looking homes all right water faucet here Here's where the back door is. We got this line of windows, and on the other side, what is that? What? Let me just tell you, it's a popular place. It's a popular place that you'll probably spend a lot of your time if this was your home. I remember this house right here. I'm thinking about touring it again. Y'all loved this one, the Elite Nine. It's just got a really unique layout. Uh, but anyways, we're getting several houses here, so y'all stay tuned to the channel. Come over here. All right, let's head around, step up on the porch. Yep, this is a part of the Legacy Series, and uh, it's got a lot of really nice features. Let me just tell you, we got the shake vinyl up there at our porch. We've got us a nice porch. Y'all stick around at the end. We'll get into a lot of information, stuff I think y'all are definitely going to want to know about this house, this place, and all that. Y'all don't forget to subscribe and uh, drop a like on the video, if you will. That'll help us out tremendously. Let's go ahead and make our way in. Open in your. <laughs> Have y'all seen that? Uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Open the door. Here we go. special one the walk in i love these gold pools i seen them in another house uh yesterday here So yeah, I believe we're around 1,800 square foot on this house. up here i seen a, that and some other colors as well in some of their homes here so built by the same manufacturer so i think the one i seen was like a gray kind of so keep that in mind all right there's the living room and then yeah over here that's the area i'm talking about i'm not saying that y'all eat a lot i'm just saying that that's probably where you're gonna spend a lot of your time let's go ahead and get into this kitchen uh, they'll, you know, you can customize different cabinet colors, countertops, backsplash, all that good stuff. Look, we got the lights under the cabinets. Let's open one. I want to see. Yeah, we've got this right here where you can adjust these shelves, different size, different heights, whatever you need to do. Different levels, I should say. Whirlpool. We've got, I mean, it's like almost a see-through door, but not, I mean, does that, is that that corner pantry i don't know let's let's set on that for a minute
very unique sink. Looks like it has this, these here where you can like set stuff across here, like maybe a drain rack. Or... Open the door. <laughs> It, it sure is. You know what? Since I've been here, every house has been pantry dance worthy. Can you believe that? I mean, I mean, I really, it's, it's, I believe it for sure. But usually I go somewhere, it's like, you know, maybe a small percentage of the houses are only actually pa pantry dance worthy. It's got the really, you know, nice walk-in pantries. Well, this one, every home I've toured here so far, I mean, I'm about danced out. It's only 9.30. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was here yesterday. I did some, shot some videos yesterday. You can't, you can't tour all these homes in one day. Trust me, brother. And we're actually just getting the ones that I didn't get last time I was here. And I'm going to get some of the other ones again and try to take a different approach on them. I think y'all going to really enjoy it. Beautiful dining spot. Here is the utility room. Let's see if we can get us some lights going. There we go. So you have this door. You can shut this off if you need to. There's the back door that we looked at. Washer and dryer spot. Probably going to be... No, I was going to say maybe water heater, but... Got you just a nice storage area in, in there. Two beds and a bathroom down here. Like they went with carpet in here. Some really nice looking carpet as well. Got the twin windows. There's where that water heater's gonna be. Very big walk-in closet. Ooh, look at the tile in here. Let me give you a good shot right there. What do y'all think? What are y'all thinking about this house? I mean, you know, it's it's uh it's it's one of those homes that fulfills everything that you really need in a home. Plus, it's gonna be a modular home. Plus, it's gonna be very high and very nice. Uh, so I like that. But it's not it's not overly big. It's something that uh, you know, with the right, well, let's just say, all the square footage is used very very well. I believe. Um, yeah, that, that's that's my take on it. Is obviously it's not one of the baddest houses I've ever toured, or just like the biggest, the craziest, that sort of thing. But it's, you know, look, you walk in, every inch of square footage is used very well, and that's something that's got to be very important to most of you watching. I know for me, I mean, let's be honest, for me, the ones that are just crazy, like nothing you've never seen before, that's the stuff that's that's really, you know, really gets. Tickled my innards, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I want to tour stuff like this too as well. Not Well, mainly because it's just a brand new model, but also because I know a lot of you, you know you need a realistic setup that you can use for everyday living. This house offers it. Now into the main bedroom. That was the main bedroom closet, by the way. 
And I never really, I hadn't really mentioned anything about this bath, but it is very, very unique. So y'all hang tight. We're going to check that out. And like I said earlier, we're going to, we'll take a deeper dive into this house, this place and everything at the end. So st stay tuned. Look, we've got the twin windows in here again. I'll give you just a little shot in there. Okay, yep, you see that? Mm-hmm. Trying to figure it out myself. There's actually, all the homes are numbered here. Here we go. And there's one number 32 that I did yesterday. It's got a very similar bathroom. Matter of fact, I, it looks maybe identical. I'm not sure. It's going to be the same manufacturer. It was the one I was talking about with that different color uh, ship lap. Okay, we got some cabinets over here. We've got this tile. You could definitely have different options on this, but you see as I take my hands down it. It's definitely got like some grooves to it. Dual entry here. So let's just, let's test that out. Let's go out this side. You know that old saying, you got up on the wrong side of the bed, hey, you stepped out of the wrong side of the shower. I mean, you know, just think think about it. And then another sink over here. You know, one thing I'm thinking is the separation of vanities is pretty nice, you know? So if you and your spouse are trying to get ready in the morning, you're not over the top of each other and that sort of thing. All right, well, y'all stick around for to get into more information, okay? Um, before we do that, though, y'all, please share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And would you, would you, would you drop a like? Thank you. So we have a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. I don't want to waste any of your time. I'm going to pop up the floor plan again. If you see right there, you got that optional attic for stairs, or I'm assuming if you want to do a basement right there in the great room. And that's just if you wanted to go with a higher roof pitch, which is what I want to lead into next. On this particular house, I'm sorry I'm be looking at my computer a good bit, but this is a, uh, the one we toured there is a 512 roof pitch, okay? You know, no second level or anything like that. But you have optional roof pitches on this. You can go 712 with a little bit of attic space, 912, you know, fully finished out if you would like, 1212. And then you don't have to finish them out, but I'm just saying you get those same high roof pitches like a lot of the homes that i've toured there are manufactured by rnl so if you see a lot of those two-story homes I think you could potentially get uh that you know that second level on this model so it's pretty awesome what they can do there at homes by vanderbilt you can learn a lot more on their website if you want to check them out it's ncmodulars.com but this is the legacy model best thing that i like to do is go to their plans and then you just see all the different plans you have there. Also, while we're talking about them, I want to stress that they only cover a certain area. Now, R and L will cover a wider range because they're the manufacturer. Homes of Vanderbilt, though, they're going to cover the North Carolina. Actually, they have a map that explains it really well. I'm going to pop that up here for you. Uh, you can see this right here. So, as you can see, as you get outside their area you're looking at other expenses and plus if you go with a higher roof pitch in some areas you can only have a certain certain height roof pi roof pitch uh, but you can like i said you can find out more online if you want to i have this i have some information in our description as always have our website link in there members area link uh, each week i i really take a deeper dive on all these tours to try to provide information that i'm not able to do in here uh but yeah that's pretty much the main things that i wanted to hit about this particular model um, I would like to say before we get into uh, pricing on this house that I have uh, the videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, 645 Central Time as always. And this Thursday night, I have a video with a featured guest. And it's not just somebody that you're not going to know. I, I feel like a, a lot of you 
probably watch this guy and it's going to be it's going to be really cool i think you're going to be really surprised it was something that i was so excited to be able to do and i've been kind of holding it out just a little bit but thursday night is when it's going to happen matter of fact once you drop a comment if you think you know who it may be let's see if y'all any y'all have any guesses if you follow me on instagram then you probably know but um Chances Home World on Instagram. You can check that out, by the way. I posted a story when I was there actually shooting and stuff. But it's coming Thursday night. So, I mean, definitely you're going to have a, a guest, which is great. But the house that I'm going to be showing y'all is next level, too. So, Thursday night, be here. Be here for sure. Let's get into some of the pricing on this particular house. Now, I'm just going to do what I've done on all the other homes that I did there. It's just screenshot what they have on their website. Uh, and you got to keep in mind that it depends on all the options, you know, Obviously, this is a starting price, and then if you go 12-12 roof pitch, finished out, you know, quartz countertop, I mean, obviously, you're looking at a lot different price, okay? Uh, so, just keep all that in mind, but I, I like how they have it here on their website, and, and it's great. So, I'm just going to share that right here. All right, so come back Thursday night and hang out with me and the special guests. We're going to have a great time. I will see you all then.